right, everybody, what is up? Chaotic 5 -0, back for another video. I've got a lot of stuff coming to the channel pretty soon here. Um, today, I did not mean to do that. Today, I'm going to show you guys um, the steps to clean a cold air intake filter. Um, so, I guess, what better to do? Peep the new tuner as well. I think it looks pretty good in there. What better to do than to just jump straight into it? So, I'm gonna be cleaning both the filters on both of the Mustangs. Um, this one, as you might be able to tell, isn't that dirty. It's pretty dirty, but it's not terrible. This one, on the other hand, look at that. What do you guys think about that? Um, I think it's pretty dirty. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I think it used to be red. Um, now, if you get really close, you can see how dirty it actually is. It is very dirty. It's filthy. Um, so, let's just get right into it. So, I just brought a um, little flathead screwdriver to undo these with. Nothing, nothing too big. It's a pretty basic job. All you need to do is just loosen that up. Pull the filter off, and I'm actually gonna need those. So like I said, it's pretty easy, just loosen that, and the filter should just pop off. And, I don't know if you guys hear that. Um, That's actually very, very concerning. Okay, never mind. There's actually sand coming out of the uh, sides of the filter. It's it's pretty filthy in there. It's very filthy. So let's go uh, Inside and I will show you guys the steps to cleaning these up So guys here we have my K&N recharger for a cold air intake filter What comes in this package is going to be filter cleaner And filter oil this is a red oil and also some instructions. The instructions are pretty straightforward, so if you know what you're doing, you don't really have to read them, but I'm gonna show you guys what they are anyways. Step one, apply cleaner. Simple. Step two, rinse the filter with warm water or hot water. Step three, dry filter. And step four, oil the filter. So, we have everything we need here to actually clean these filters, so let's get started. As you can see, these filters are pretty dirty. They're not the dirtiest, but this one is pretty dirty. Um, I don't know how those engines could breathe, but... So I guess in the light, you guys could probably see a little bit better. All the hair in there and all the just gunk, it's awful. And that is filthy. Wow. Okay. So this one isn't as bad as you can see, but still kind of bad. I like to clean both of them just to, you know, make them both pretty clean. So this one didn't leave a lot. So I'm going to use a paper towel here. As you guys can see, a little bit came off of that one. Not, not too bad. Again, it's not that dirty. Um, but this one, oh man, quite a bit came off of that one. That was probably one of, more, one of the more clean parts of that filter. So we really got to clean these up. It's about time. So this one I'm probably going to do last. This one I'm going to do first, and I'll show you guys all the steps. So. Take it over to the sink. Alright, so first you're going to use the air filter cleaner. You're going to want to apply it to the filter in a pretty generous fashion um, with complete coverage. 
This is going to ensure that the filter gets as clean as possible. And don't forget you want to use warm and hot water when cleaning these filters to break up the dirt and grime a little bit. So now that we have the entire thing all cleaned up, let's put it under the water and see what comes out. Wow, that is just an insane amount of dirt. That's... I never thought that that would have came out of my intake. Seeing what my car had to breathe through really wasn't that reassuring, but at least they're cleaned up. Alright guys, so now that we're done cleaning that one, you can see it's it's quite a bit better. It's actually a lot better. Um, I think it used to be a lot lighter of a color, but you know, it's looking a lot better than it was. So as you can see up close, you can't see any hair, you can't see any, any big pieces of dirt or anything. So compared to this one, wow, what a transformation. I didn't realize that this cleaning kit worked that well, but man, seeing this right now, it is just crazy what came off of that. So, here you can see, completely clean on this brand new paper towel, and this one, still pretty dirty. And that was a pretty light swipe, so, there we go. Alright, that's filthy. That is cool. Quite obviously, but yeah, quite obviously. Anyway. So this is just what came out of the, the smaller one, which is quite a bit more dirty. As you can see, that is just filthy. Absolutely filthy. Alright, so now that both of them are done, we're actually going to let them sit out overnight and dry. I guess I'll get you guys tomorrow. So now that they're dry, we're going to apply the red oil to them. I'm just testing out how it came out. You're gonna wanna apply a quite even coat with full coverage all around the filter, but not too thick because you don't wanna clog it. Okay, everybody. Um keys and the screwdriver it it's been about I'd say an hour maybe two actually it's been a while uh, I was just waiting for it to kind of soak in because as you can see uh, there's some like oil drops on it but I don't think it's that big of a deal um, I thought maybe I put too much but I saw another video um, from Nate Ryder I think that's his name good dude with the Mustangs um, and he actually put quite a bit on there as well, so I'm not too worried about it. But let's go put these back on, and then I'll take you guys for a ride. Um, and that will be that, so let's get right to it. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, it's actually, if you can see, it's actually not too bad in there. It's, it's kind of bad, but it's not awful. Um, I'm not going to worry about cleaning it right now. If you guys can hear me, I'm not going to worry about cleaning it right now just because um, I'm going to be taking the intake off anyways to um, to put on the manifold. So let's just get this going. So we've got the clamp back around the lip of the filter. Let's put that on. And then the very last step is to tighten this right here. All right guys, you want this pretty tight um, because this is where the air is all gonna come in at. So you really don't want any air leaking in there. You want this to suck all the air in as possible. Um, it, just so that, you know, if the dirt gets into your engine, it doesn't hurt it. So, I don't know if you guys can hear me, I'm trying to cover up the mic. 
there it is that's uh that's basically how to re recharge or service your uh cold air intake um it wasn't too bad of a job it was actually really easy uh it's a little time consuming just because you have to wait a little bit and as you can see it's still got a little bit of drips of like oil on it so i'm not too sure about that but it's good to go so i'm gonna I'm gonna do the V6s real quick. Um, as you can see, it's down there on the floor. I'm gonna do the V6s real quick, and then I will drive the car, and I'm gonna have a little chat with you guys. Okay, so I got both of the intakes put back on. Um, peep the tuner, no tune on it yet. I just wanted to put it in there so I could look cool. Um, so let's get a cold start, I guess, with the new with the new filter. And I'm not gonna put you guys outside for this one, mostly just because um, it's very windy. Let me see me pushing the clutch because it's a manual. Hashtag save the manuals. Don't forget. Um, don't worry about this shift knob. I'll get rid of that soon. So let's go. All right, guys. So there's the cold start. Okay guys, I think this is probably a pretty good pretty good view for you. I'm not too sure though. It's probably gonna be the best view you're gonna get. Uh sorry I'm so tall, this kind of sucks, but first impressions after cleaning it. Really nothing. Um now I'm not saying that cleaning your air filter should make a difference in your car slow down a little bit so that you guys might be able to hear me so i'm not saying that cleaning air filter is going to make a difference um and i i might be imagining it but the car does sound a little bit louder and it, it's probably just because it's cold it's been popping a lot more the exhaust is warming up um it doesn't feel different though it might feel a little bit louder but it doesn't feel different at all um i just wanted to do a typical service and maybe show you guys how to uh service your air filter because that's a pretty important job you definitely want to clean the only source of air that your car is getting that's probably one of the most important jobs of maintaining an engine so it's, it's probably every 50,000 miles I, I heard 50,000 miles is where you should probably clean it um, but if you care or if you live on a road like I do I live on a dirt road it's constantly awful you should probably clean it more around 5,000 miles because it's very bad um, I guess before I end the video, I want to take a minute to talk to you guys about what's going on and what's going to be going on because I did record a couple videos uh, a couple days ago, but it didn't really work out. Uh, as you can see, I got this Bamba Performance SCT X4 um, tuner and that, that should do a little bit for me, but I also got a Boss 302 intake manifold that I'm going to be installing pretty soon. That's probably going to be coming in the next couple days, but I don't know how soon you guys will see that because I, I plan to upload videos more regularly. I want to set out a schedule so that I don't put three very close together and then none for the next couple months like I did before. Um, a lot of content coming. I've got a new shifter coming as well, an MGW Short Throw Race Spec shifter. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Uh, but that's that's basically it. I've, I'm working full time right now and I've got a lot of family stuff going on so I'm not too sure how these next couple weeks or months will actually turn out. Um, I'm hoping to put out a lot of content though and I'm hoping to grow my YouTube because I'm not really happy where I'm at right now. My, I've got a minimum wage job, um, working pretty hard just to, just to work on the car. Uh, that's kind of pointless. I, I really want to make it big on YouTube and I feel like maybe getting a better job would be a little bit better, but I can't complain. It's getting me where I want to be for now. So I guess uh, just like and subscribe if you thought that this was interesting or helpful or even if you just want to like and subscribe out of nowhere. If not, whatever. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. and. Um, what I should do with the car, I've got a lot of ideas. So coming up pretty soon, uh, a lot of stuff's gonna be changing. Right here is probably the best place.
guess for now, this was Chaotic 5.0. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, please stay tuned. There's a lot of stuff coming. Um, and I guess I'll just catch you guys in the next one. So, uh, peace.